Hello everybody, so today we're going to learn how to install WordPress to our local server so that you can develop your WordPress sites locally. In order to do that, the first thing we need to do is go to wordpress.org. From here, we click on this download button and we download the zip file to our desktop. I normally like to save it to the desktop just for ease of finding it later. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel it. But once downloaded, it would look like this. So what we want to do at this point is extract the file. And here we have our extracted file. The next thing we want to do is take that file and move it to our htdocs file. So we want to go to our My Computer, the C drive, go to your XAMPP folder, look for your htdocs folder and then drag this over to WordPress. So here we have WordPress is essentially there. That's essentially your domain name. So we'll just remember that. So let's go to our browser. And before we can do anything, we need to create a database. So in order to do that, we need to go to localhost. We go to our XAMPP tool section and under there we have PHP my admin. Click on that. And we go click on the databases tab and create a database. Name it whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call it WordPress. Just as long as you remember what you called your database. Create. There you have it, it's been created. So what we can do now is go to our other window and just type in localhost slash WordPress. And that's gonna call up the folder that we installed. And here we're gonna begin the installation process. So what we wanna, what, what we wanna do here is click on continue by selecting English. And in here, we're going to start the actual naming of our website. The site title is what we want to call our website. So I'm just going to call it my first website. The username is the user, uh, the name of the user who's going to be administering the account. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call it WP Basics. And the password, we put it twice. I'm just going to use a weak password for now because it's just our local site. In your email address, just enter that in any email doesn't really matter and then privacy we want to take this check mark out uh, we don't want this site indexed then click on install wordpress and there you have it success wordpress has been installed and now we're going to go ahead and log in click on the login button And there you have it. You've now created your uh, WordPress site on your local host. There is a number of updates here. We can uh, we can go ahead and update those. But for our purposes, we're finished what we set out to do. We wanted to install WordPress on our local host, and we've done that. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.